Hello everyone and welcome to another Blackboard Collaborate Ultra training video. In this video, I am going to walk you through using Blackboard Collaborate Ultra groups. These breakout groups are great if you have group projects, if you want to do discussions, if you want your students to get to know each other, you can build community. So I personally love this feature and I think it is a great feature that we can use here on Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Now, in order to get this feature started, the first thing that you want to do is head to the lower right hand corner and look for the little tab that is purple and has those two little white arrows on them. Once you've found that again, lower right hand corner, purple tab with two little white arrows. Once you've found them, you are going to be opening up the collaborate panel. This is where you'll find all of the features that collaborate has to offer that you can use throughout your classes. For the sake of today's video, because we're going to be talking about the breakout groups, we will be going to the little icon that has a square with an arrow pointing to the right. A square with an arrow pointing to the right. It is the share content icon and it is right here next to those two little people, next to the two little people. When you've located that square, you're going to go ahead and you're gonna find the breakout groups. Breakout groups. Now, the great thing about breakout groups is that there are two ways that you can go ahead and do this. One of the ways is by creating a custom assignment, which means that I can select the number of groups and the people that are in it. Now, at the moment, there are no attendees in my class, so I cannot break the groups down. However, what you would see is just like myself here, where it says Damaris Alvarez, you would have a list of all of your students. And just like I could drag myself, you would be able to drag your students into those respective groups. That's doing a custom assignment. Now, another option that you have, and again, I don't have the option here because I don't have any attendees, but it would be to create a random assignment. This means you are not selecting who goes into the groups. You just have to select the number of groups and the number of people in those groups. And once you've done that, you can click on start and it will do this and break all of your groups. Now, this is great because you can go back to the main room. If you see here on our right panel, we have the main room. To go to the main room, you can just simply click on this little door and you can go back to the main room. Now I'm in the main room and I can jump back from one group to the other. So for instance, here I have group one, here I have group two. Let's say that I wanna now speak to group two, I can click on that little door and I can join group two. Now I can speak with these students, have a conversation with them, and when I'm done, I can jump to group three, group four, and so on and so forth. Now when I'm finished, let's say I told my students, you have 10 minutes in your breakout groups, and I want to stop those breakout groups, I simply come to this little circle with the square and I will select it to end the breakout groups. Again, that little circle up here on the top right hand corner with the little square to end the breakout groups. When I select this, it will take everybody back to the main room. Make sure that you let everybody know that they should keep a timer and you can send a message through the chat which students will still see and say one minute and tell them turn off your mics when you return to the main room so that you don't have the echo bouncing back off one another. Now again, this is a wonderful feature and if you have any questions, I am more than happy to walk you through them. Please let me know and you can leave any comments below and I can answer those questions. Have a wonderful day.